chapter 8. Who is as the wise man, and who knows the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face to shine, and the boldness of his face is changed. I counsel thee, keep the king's command, and that in regard of the oath of God. Be not hasty to go out of his presence, stand not in an evil thing, for he does whatsoever pleases him. For as much as the king's word hath power, and who may say unto him, What doest you? Whoso keep the commandment shall know no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerns time and judgment. For to every matter there is a time and judgment, for the evil of a man is great upon him, for he knows not that which shall be, for even when it comes to pass, who shall declare it unto him? There is no man that hath power over the wind to retain the wind, neither hath he power over the day of e neither has he power over the day of death, and there is no discharge in war, neither shall wickedness deliver him that is given to it. All this have I seen, even applied my heart thereto. Whatever the work that is done under the sun, what time one man had power over another to his hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried, and they entered into their rest. But they that had done right went away from the holy place, and were forgotten in the city. This also is vanity, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because a sinner does evil a hundred times and prolongs his days, though yet I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, that fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fears not before God. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there are righteous men unto whom it happens according to the work of the wicked. Again, there are wicked men to whom it happens according to the work of the righteous. I said this also is vanity. So I commended mirth, that a man has no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry, and that this should accompany him in his labor all the days of his life which God hath given him under the sun. When I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to see the business that is done upon the earth, for neither day nor night do men see sleep with their eyes, then I beheld all the work of God, that man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun, because though a man labor to seek it out, yet he shall not find it. Yes, further, though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. All right. Uh, let's go back up to verse 1. We're continuing in the words of the Ecclesiastic, or the words of the preacher, some like to refer to, I believe the King James Version refers it to the preacher, uh, the Kohelet. Um, either way, it's all just a someone who collects good words, who's got something to say, uh, or to make their argument, uh, we can see. We'll find out he's really just contending with himself, arguing with himself. In the long run, is to choose to do the right thing, to see whether it's worth it or not, or it's just a waste of time, whether we should do what's right, or whether it doesn't really make a difference. We'll find out uh, we all can make a difference. It, it is that we choose to do the right thing, and to do the right thing means to... Um, even for for yourself in the fact that uh, there's one who has to do the right thing or it's just not going to get done. We're going to pick it up in verse 1. Who is as the wise man and who knows the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face to shine and the boldness of his face is changed. Who is as a wise man or who, who knows what the interpretation of it all is? Well, a man's wisdom makes his face to shine, or he appears to be um, beaming, we can say it that way, or in joy and happiness and, and content. And the boldness of his face has changed, and the, the face that he had before, the uh, might or the strength uh, has changed because the wisdom has come, and he has figured it out. 
to, I counsel you, keep the king's command, and that in regard of the oath of God. Now, I counsel the uh, counsel is in brackets uh, to keep the king's command. And this king's command, we, we know the king has been commanded by the Lord too. Not always we have evidence in the book. Do they do that which is correct? But we'll find out in time it all comes to pass that it, it is corrected somehow or another. It's going to get right. And to keep the king's command is to do uh, what's lawful, and that in regard of the oath of God, and according, uh, accor as long as it's in accordance with the oath of God, that even that which the Lord give the king. Three, be not hasty to go out of his presence. Stand not in an evil thing, for he does whatsoever he pleases. Uh, don't be hasty to go out of his presence. And that presence is, uh, comes through the understanding that it's his ordinance. Uh, basically is what that presence is. We don't have to be standing in front of him. It's to be that even this, we're using the king here. Because it's a lawful order that went out. Don't stand in an evil thing. Don't do that. What's wrong? For he does whatsoever pleases him. And we'll find out uh, th that's what the king does. But the Lord always does the right thing. For... For as much as the king's word hath power, and who may say unto him, oh, What doest you? For the king's word, and in those days there were uh, kings, uh, the Lord slowly done away with them. Uh, that, that's an example. But they had a lot of power back then, and we'll find out they distorted that power a lot of time. But who could say in those days, uh, What doest you? Because there was nobody who could stop them. Five. Whoso keeps the commandment shall know no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerns time and judgment. And whosoever keeps the commandment shall know no evil thing. Because uh, we have that example in the book of Esther with Mordecai. To keep the law, uh, we, are, we don't bow our knee to men, we bow our knee to the Lord. It's a wise man's heart, though, that discerns time and judgment. He has this ability... To see what's going on, uh, what's going to happen, really, is is basically the total understanding of it. A uh, wise man knows how to keep his mouth shut, and he knows how to speak. Six, for to every matter there is a time and judgment, for the evil of a man is great upon him. And every time and for every matter there's a judgment. There's a consequence, there's a repercussion, there's an opposite and equal reaction for everything you do. It's basically what it boils down to. And the evil man is great upon him. And this also is because that there's these wicked consequences or the ramifications of wickedness has become more prevalent. Or we can see it easily, especially in society today. 7. For he knows not that which shall be, for even when it comes to pass, who shall declare it unto him? Because man don't really got no understanding. We're using mankind here. Humanity itself. Uh, we don't have to pick out nobody in particular. Uh, he doesn't know what's going on. He, and when it comes to pass, and you say, Now this wicked day, and a sickness and disease, and all wickedness and perversions upon you, do um, you think he's going to care or understand? Hey, there's no man that hath power over the wind to retain the wind. Neither hath he power over the day of death. There's no discharge in war. Neither shall wickedness deliver him that is given to it. Ain't nobody can stop it. Nobody's got power over that wind. That's Wind's like time blowing. You see, you can't stop the wind and you can't stop time. Uh, you ain't have the ability to retain it. We find it just blows through our hands. Neither has he power over the day of death. Every man's going to die. Nobody can deliver theirself from that. It's a, and it's really a pretty simple thing. You're going to experience that. There's no discharge in war. When we get into battle, there's simply no escape. Neither shall the wickedness deliver them that is given to it. And do you think the wickedness is going to save you for all your wickedness you've done? Nine. All this have I seen, even applied my heart thereto. Whatever the work that is done under the sun, what time one man had power over another to his herd.
all this have I seen? I mean, it's not that hard to see if we just apply ourselves to look at it or open our eyes, uh, try to understand what's going on around us. Whatever the work that's done under the sun, it doesn't matter what's going on. Uh, we will find out there is, at this time, during that time, there's always, uh, we're going to use this one man had power over another because any time, Whatever time there was, any time one man had power over another, it was to his hurt. It was no good going to come from it. Ten. And so I saw the wicked buried, and they entered into their rest. But they had done, but they that had done right went away from the holy place and were forgotten in the city. This also is vanity. I saw the wicked buried. They buried him just like they buried everybody else. There was no difference. They entered into their rest. They went that way. But they did it done right. They went away from the holy city and in time to pass and all that. The righteous were taken away as well. And nobody remembered anybody. It was like it was all changing. And it, it was forgotten in the city. This is all vanity. Vanity. Because we'll see the times to come. And nobody's sowing righteousness, nobody's sowing equality, nobody's sowing justice into the earth. And the seeds are growing, leaven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. But the Lord wants to give you your own choice. That you have the right to choose whether to turn or not. And we see the hearts of these sons of men is fully set to do evil. I guess you've made your choice. Twelve. Because a sinner doeth evil a hundred times and prolongs his days, though yet I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, that fear before him. Because I... The sinner does evil a hundred times. He thinks he's going to prolong his days, uh, stretch it out. We'll find out. The Lord cuts them off. Though yet I know it shall be well with them, fear God, because in the long run, the Lord's word's going to stand, my friends, and that's the bottom line. Those that fear him, those that reverence the Lord, they are going to come out on top. It's like the cream rising to the top, 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fears not before God. It ain't going to be well with those, uh, those who won't always, they think they they should be in charge, they think they should exalt themselves and, and spread their wicked and evil ways upon the earth. It's anybody's understanding. Anybody's understanding besides the Lord's understanding is basically just wickedness. Neither shall he prolong his days. He ain't going to have no control over it. The Lord made all things. They're just like a shadow. It's, and if you ever sit and watch one, it has its hour. And it passes. Because he doesn't fear before God. He has no fear before the Lord. Elohim, this mighty one. Uh, that one who has the power within us all to declare righteousness. 14. There's a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there are righteous men unto whom it happens according to the work of the wicked. And again, there are wicked men to whom it happens according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity, just like some good men get caught up in the wickedness. Uh, things happen to them, the same things that happen to bad people. Sometimes the innocent are hurt in these crimes. And again, Sometimes a wicked man gets a little more than his share, a little more than what he's supposed to get. Maybe he gets recognized as somebody who'd done something, and really his intent was totally different. I said to myself, this also is vanity. It's the waste of time, because sooner or later, all things are found out and set in order. Sooner or later, 50. So I commended Murr that a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry, and that this should accompany him in his labor all the days of his life which God hath given him under the sun. So I commended Myrrh 
Good job. That's a good job, Mur. Happiness. Thanks. And all the goodness of life. Thank. That's a good thing right there. That man hath no better thing under the sun. You ain't got nothing better to do than to eat, to drink, and to be married. Uh, be happy with those things that you earn. That this should accompany him in his labor. That, and that this is what he should get for his labor. Everything that's coming to him. All the days of his life. Because it's what belongs to him. That which God hath given him under the sun, as long as he's walking on the earth. 16. When I applied my heart to know wisdom, to see the business that is done upon the earth, for neither day nor night do men see sleep with their eyes. They never rest, always trying to get you when you're coming, one way or the other, either in the darkness or in the light. They wait. 17. Then I beheld all the work of God. That man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. Because though a man labor to seek it out, yet he shall not find it. Yes, further, though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. Then when I beheld the work of God, everything the Lord's done, ain't nobody going to figure this out. Ain't nobody under the sun going to understand what the Lord's done, because who can declare it? Who can interpret it? Who knows what it's all about? Though a man will seek to find it out, he just ain't going to live that long. Yeah. And though a wise man, it doesn't matter what college you went to, and who you studied under in your great mind you think you have. You think you're going to figure it all out? But I don't think you're going to live that long. And then that's all where it just comes to, my friend, just a waste of time. Because intent is what the business is. We're going to move forward to Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Turn and return. <laughs>